All right, everybody, so before I start the video, I just want to reaffirm the fact that AMC is going to squeeze because there's enough information legally on the books registered with, with the DTCC and the New York Stock Exchange, NASDAQ. There's enough information that is public that absolutely aligns to a short squeeze with AMC, okay? The information in this video is just that. More knowledge that you have to use in your arsenal to make a decision whether you want to buy, sell, or hold AMC. Alright, good morning everybody. So we're over here at the restaurant. Uh, mixing my amino acids, my pre-workout, getting ready for this training today. I got a big group. We're hitting guns, biceps, triceps. Guys, I, I love the music y'all sent me, man. All these bands and guitar players. Freaking, uh, I just didn't know what to do because I know a lot of that music. So uh, I chose Journey last night. But go ahead and comment below. Maybe a guitar player or your favorite band from the 80s or 90s and a song that you might like to hear or whatever. And I will give you a shout out tonight when I do a video and play some of that music all right I'm definitely giving shout outs man if you hit the nail on the head with one of my favorite guitar players and my favorite bands you deserve a shout out all right let's go let's put let's uh, somebody not somebody several people with this uh, dark pool theory um, I want to set you at ease with the dark pool theory okay here's the theory so the order comes out of Robin Hood and is supposed to go directly to Wall Street, the New York Stock Exchange, NASDAQ, whatever. But instead, they're taking your 100 lousy share order and they're reverting it to the dark pool, which typically the dark pool is reserved for big block orders, okay? Somebody's going in and buying 500,000 shares. Well, they need to keep that quiet, hush, hush, so it doesn't directly affect their purchase. And the ticker doesn't go up before they purchase. Everything has to be discreet. Therefore, they do it in the dark pool. Within a matter of sometimes minutes, it is then sent to Wall Street, sometimes hours. Now, if it's a country-to-country -country transaction, It'll take up to 24 hours. So that's the longest they typically have to wait, but that's coming from, say, Canada to the USA. Okay. But this theory that, no, that transaction, that trade, is now being sent off to, say, a Bernie Madoff, and Bernie Madoff is suspiciously filling the order. He's got a pen and pad, and he's writing it down, and he's just keeping track and then you decide to sell. And in order for you to get paid, so another person has to come in that's not getting an order filled. They have to buy. You sell. They take the money from that fella and pay you. And then they have to get another fake order in because it's all nothing but fake share synthetics. We'll use the word synthetics, but really it's just Bernie Madoff writing shit down on a notepad with his Ponzi scheme. And that's what it is. When you have an investment firm that is selling you air, okay, taking your money and giving you nothing but air, lying to you, saying, no, you're actually getting shares of AMC, but really you just got nothing. And then you decide one day you're going to sell. They have to wait for the next guy to come in, give him nothing, take his money and pay you. And they have to continue this circle jerk until they get caught. Bernie Madoff is doing life in prison. That's called a Ponzi scheme. I don't even know if he's still alive. He could be dead by now. That's a Ponzi scheme, and there are so many rules in place right now to catch that at the infant stage. Here's another thing I want you to think about. When GME, Robin Hood, back in January, and there was all that freaking holy shit Robin Hood's getting sued now because they pulled the buy button. The reason was, was because they had to, with the DTCC, they had to guarantee X amount of money for these trades. They had to make sure they could cover all the freaking money, and it had gotten up to 100%. Robin Hood said, holy shit, we don't think we can cover 100% right now, so we need to pull the buy button. 
The DTCC has got to make sure the broker has the money. That way, when she short squeezes, you get paid. Well, if none of these dark pool shares are being registered with the DTCC because they're going to some back alley Bernie Madoff, well, that means back alley Bernie Madoff, when she squeezes, has to pay you. Where's backdoor Bernie Madoff going to get the freaking money? Does he want that kind of stress on his freaking shoulders? Does Robin Hood, the CEO of Robin Hood, want to do life in prison because he wants to somehow benefit the hedge funds or he want, they, they, want to, they want to somehow take in a few extra freaking dollars when they're getting paid $125 million or 100, I think it was $175 million for order flow information? Guys, Robin Hood's making so much freaking money. The CEO is making freaking bank. And to think that they would risk it all, everybody at the top, all the top suits are now going to do a Bernie Madoff sentence because they just want synthetics coming around, circle jerk synthetics. Send it to the dark pool, then send it to Bernie Madoff, nobody gets paid. Send it to the dark pool, send it to Bernie Madoff. The only way you get paid is if somebody else comes in and buys more fake. Not, don't register any of it. If that makes sense to y'all in this day and age when there's so much oversight. Okay, now there are failures to deliver and that is completely freaking different, okay? Now, did some synthetics slip through the cracks maybe in January, February? Very easily could, but just so you guys realize, I, I did a video yesterday. This is, this is the order flow of transaction. Me, I want to buy 100 shares of AMC. I got, let's say I go to Robinhood. Robinhood can act as the market maker and the broker. Okay, so let's just say market maker, broker. They take the order, they then send it to the New York Stock Exchange. That solidifies and that legally binds my order and says Teddy Zane now owns 100 shares. But you need the clearinghouse to actually close the transaction to say Teddy Zane didn't give us counterfeit money. He gave us real money. That money's going to the issuer. The issuer gave us real shares. That's going to Teddy Zane. So that when this thing squeezes, Teddy Zane can give his shares back and he will get X amount of money, whatever that ticker, and we will ensure that Teddy Zane gets his money and the issuer gets his stock. Do you guys, I just want to make sure you guys understand how that happens. So let's say Robin Hood says, well, okay, we don't have the shares. We need, a, we need an IOU on Monday, an FTD. Let's say they say all, my, all of our AMC shares, we can't deliver any of them Monday. We can't deliver them Tuesday. We can't deliver them Wednesday. We can't deliver them Thursday or Friday. We just can't deliver. It's all FTDs kicking can down the road, millions and millions and millions of shares. We're, now we're going to do the actual you know, uh, registering with the DTCC. We're going to say, okay, now they're, they're actually legally kicking the can down the road with synthetics, with failures to deliver. How long do you think that will play out? Think about how long before the DTCC alerts the SEC and says, there's a scam going on here because their failures to deliver are so out of control right now, yet they're still taking the orders Okay, they're not declining the orders. They're taking the orders. It's nothing but failure to deliver. There are no shares. Guys, they put a stop to it. They would put a stop to it because of the bullshit that happened in 2008. I'm going to, I forget the name of the company. Do y'all realize why everything's put in place right now to stop shit like this from 2008 from happening? Um, here's what happened. I, I forget the name of the company, but... This dark pool shit and all the scams and the synthetics did happen. This one company unraveled for 10 freaking years. It took 10 years to disperse and figure out who was owed what, how many actual shares they, there were, how many fake shares there. It took a decade before it was all unraveled and everybody freaking got paid. A lot of people went to freaking jail. It was a learning lesson for the entire freaking stock market, for, for Wall Street in general, and so 
many precautions now have been put in place so that shit never happens again. And it was in 2008. I'm going to get the name of the company and I'm going to learn more about it so that I can better explain it to y'all. Okay. Um, but just so you guys know that there, there is a lot of shady shit. Market makers can't decide the amount of money that's coming in and out because they have no control over that. Market makers can manipulate a ticker for a day, for, for two days, for three days, for four days, for a week. Hedge funds can manipulate, okay? But where the manipulation stops is when it goes into Wall Street's hands, registered, and then the DTCC confirms it. That's where the manipulation stops because people, again, don't want to spend life in prison to cover for a company that's doing illegal shit. Event, everybody finds out, you know what I'm saying? And people have to cover and shut their mouths and be cool with it. And why would they do that? Who's getting paid enough money to do that? If you ask me, Robin Hood's not, Weeble's not, Fidelity's not, all these brokers, they are not getting paid enough money to allow so much acti uh, illegal activity to go down. And they are 100% aware of it and okay with it. People are buying every day. People are selling every day. People are buying every day. And people are selling the shit out of AMC right now. All right, guys. List some jams that you want to hear tonight. I'm going to pick a few of the best. Give you guys a shout out. We're going to have some fun with it. Off to the gym I go. Y'all have an awesome day. Doge Warrior out. Shaboom. Peace.